Okay, when you get this van home, your place, you're going to need to have your car wired for a 12 pin plug and for an Anderson plug. And the reason being is they run auxiliary components in, in the caravan and also it's got electric brakes on this van and you need the electric brakes because it's got a handbrake but no other brakes that are electric. So you need to do that before you go anywhere. Get an auto electrician to check the wiring in there and match it up. Your handbrake, which is just a handbrake. For when it's stationary, it doesn't, it doesn't work the brakes when it's moving. Your hitch, which it's in position. Lock in. Reverse it, take it off your car. That's the hitch. There's no jockey wheel on this, it's actually a jack. So that when you put it on your car, you release the hydraulic part here and the jockey, well, the stand will come up. And then when it's up, you can raise it to the highest point so you can travel. And then when you're ready to go off, you just reverse the process by jacking this button and the hydraulic back on and doing handle. You can see the caravan's going up. I'm gonna let a bit of it down, don't let it go. See, right, like that, and then back up. That's it. You're also gonna need on your vehicle two places for the safety chains. They are big solid chains. So you need you need two locations for those. Uh, hang up here out the way when you're not using it. It's got two gas bottles. When one runs out you just flick the switch on the top here. So at the moment it's feeding off this one. When it runs out, flip it over to that one. That really is the front of the caravan. If we go round this side, in here, you can just film in there. Obviously, the battery and this is all the battery charger. This is all the controls. I've not touched anything in here because it's all working as should, and you know, I don't need to go in there and do anything with it. But that's where everything is located regarding the electrics. Now you've got two options for water. The first one is you've got two fresh water tanks, which you just fill from there with a hose pipe. And you've got a th another option, which is a direct water mains feed. So it plugs in there, and then you go and take that to your tap. It doesn't have any waste tanks on it. This is your waste caddy. So it's way under capacity compared to, so you've got two tanks that are bigger than this. And you've got this one tank, so it might be worth you getting another caddy. You hook it in. That's in position. Then we'll take that cap off there. A good idea to have something to put these in so you don't lose them. And that's your breather. And then when you're finished, you just reverse it, take the breather off, transport it, stick your cap on. Connect it from there. And you can also turn that valve off. This is the vent for your gas hot water, so you'll feel heat come out of there. The vents for the fridge. The feet 
on each corner. This is what you have to do. You leave it, pull it out. It drops down, but we'll need to lift the caravan up a little bit to get that foot right there. And then, once you've got it down there, you put this on to lock the foot in position. There we go, and level the van. The reverse the process, line that back up, lock it in. That's the foot. There's two tanks, one, two. And when you finish with them, you to drain them, you open that, you drain on both of them. So they'll be drained when you get it up there. This is your power lead. It's different to an English caravan, it's got a three pin plug on it. It, the other end is the same as a campground and that locks it in position and that keeps it waterproof. Back locker which we'll put all the water caddy, the wastewater caddy in and the hoses all go in there. It goes right through to the other side. Put the foot there in that corner. Obviously a spare wheel. There is no jack, so you'll need to get yourself a bottle jack. There is an outdoor table. Outside socket and 12 volts and an aerial. And toilet to set. Is located in here. Straightforward. Obviously, you empty it there. Let any gases out through this valve here, and your handle for wheeling it away. Making sure that when it goes in, the green locks in so it can't be pulled out so we lift that green up green lever out in that's it oh, i need the key to lock that and outside here fresh water you want to wash something out here like this it's for an outdoor barbecue, it connects into here. 